Week two is here and we have another divisional matchup with the Houston Texans. The last week, if you guys missed the episode, go check it out. It was a awesome, awesome game. And honestly, a really good debut for Anthony Richardson, a really good debut for uh, for Evan Hole, who is our starting running back because of injuries. And uh, obviously Jonathan Taylor holding out and, and whatnot. But last week was a pretty, pretty good week. Let's get into the weekly strategy. We're not going to look at scout until next week. If we do, again, let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want the 2024 draft class or an auto generated draft class? Let me know. But. This week, we got CJ Shroud. They also at running back have Damian Pierce. For me and for this team, because we're playing against a rookie quarterback, we're going to go ahead and defend the inside run and focus on stopping their run game. If we can, or CJ Shroud to have to make some, some plays down the field, and uh, maybe we can take advantage for our offensive game plan. We're going to choose run outside and try to get some of those uh, read options uh, out with Anthony Richardson because man using his speed is pretty pretty incredible for our weekly game plans let's go for 200 yards rushing I think we can hit that easily um, allowing less than 20 points against this offense I think is actually doable and let's go for 400 offensive yards we hit 400 yards last week I think we can do it again and then our uh, for our head coach one let's go with 15 first downs and let's get into our mini games starting with Julius Brents and we'll go ahead and do the DB battle. But if you guys are enjoying this series, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, we are so, so close to, uh, to 5,000. So if you guys haven't subscribed, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And, uh, if you don't like it or you, you know, you don't, you don't want to stay subscribed in, in a month, unsubscribe it, you know, it doesn't hurt. Right. So yeah, we're really close to that 5,000 though. Get that pick there from Brents. This one, I feel like I'm pretty inconsistent with this, uh, with this drill. And it's more of like the, ooh, oh, I thought that was gonna be a pick. It's more of the, uh, like these routes because I don't know when they're gonna break. I've got that one pretty good. But when I press, it's kind of random how it, you know, they don't actually run the route or that happens. Goodness. What just happened? No blitzing. Did I get kind of bailed out in a way? I don't know. It was gonna be a catch. Or like that stuff. How does that stuff happen? I might try this one more time. Because I don't think we're going to... Oh my gosh. He got that over me. All right. Yeah, let's try one more time. Already almost at 15,000 here. This one was pretty easy. The routes were pretty easy to cover. A couple of incompletions. A couple of uh, of sacks. And uh, yeah, this one was pretty easy. This one's going to be behind. Boom. 25,000. Pretty easy one. Let's get into the wide receiver. By the way... Josh Downs missed last week. He should be healthy to play this week. So I'm super excited. Actually, let's, let's say Anthony Richardson. But I'm very, very excited uh, to get Josh Downs in. I mean, Isaiah McKenzie had an insane game. So it's going to be interesting. I wonder, do we, I don't know. Like, that's the question, right? Because because Isaiah McKenzie played so well, uh, but I want I want Downs to play. So like... Unless, unless we say Alec Pierce isn't going to be starting, but I I think Alec Pierce should start. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see uh, how how it goes. I mean, if Downs doesn't play well or if he, you know, has a fumble or anything like that, maybe maybe we just say, all right, let's just let's just move on and, and have Isaiah McKenzie start for this season. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think should happen with that situation because Isaiah McKenzie was incredible last week. I mean, incredible. Let's go all the way over here. Throw it to X. Uh, I was hoping I could get one more, but we got silver. If we can get two targets here. Nah, there's only one. Didn't even get the catch. I don't know if we're going to get gold here. We need a catch, and we need to get two targets. There we go. One, two, catch, and goal. Boom. All right, that one's a piece of cake. All right, last one here. Actually, no, we have two more. But this will give us gold, and there we go. 13,000 points. Go ahead and go one more here, and boom. 16,000 points. We got the gold for all three. 
And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below, like, should I keep on doing this? I mean, it's 750 XP or should I simulate? Is there a chance I can get like a skill point by doing those or, or not? I don't know. All right, so hopefully there's no injuries. Uh, some guys are losing fatigue, so I might at some point rest, guys. I'm, I've been doing half pads. Shoulder strain for Evan Hole. You've got to be kidding me. Another injury to the running back room. Oh my gosh, dude. These injuries are brutal. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right, so we're going to have Jackson and... Uh, I mean, Zach Moss might accidentally play. Um, let's go elusive back because obviously he's out for another few weeks, so I probably won't use him. So it's gonna be have to it's gonna have to be Jackson. Uh, and who am I missing here? There's someone else. Oh, Drake. So Jackson and Drake are probably gonna split duties here. Yeah, Jackson, Drake, and then Moss as the third. Jeez. That is ridiculous. Uh, Drake and Jackson will split. And yeah, they'll be each other's backup. Jonathan Taylor's a backup for all three of them. So hopefully, Jonathan Taylor doesn't accidentally get in there. And we'll go from there. But I don't know how many injuries we're going to have to the running back room. The game is just like, nah, like you guys should pay Jonathan Taylor. You know, you, you could probably use him. That's, that's what they're saying. But anyways... Let's get on to week two against the Houston Texans. Also, let me know in the comments below, when has Madden released, like, when we're going to get the new helmets? Because I've been wanting to use, like, the the new uniforms, but the helmet doesn't match it. So I'm, I'm not using the new uniforms until we get the, the all-blue uh, Colts helmet. So let me know in the comments below when you guys think that's going to be in the game. Jelani Woods had a great day last week, 113 yards receiving. Uh, one touchdown, I believe, but he was awesome. We've got the Houston Texans here who are a very good young team, right? CJ Shroud, got Damon Pierce, uh, John Mechie at wide receiver. They they drafted Will Anderson as well, who might be the best player in the draft. Like they've, they're Derek Stingley. Like they, they have some guys. So kind of in a similar position as us right we have a lot of young players rookie quarterback a couple of young guys on the defense that we really that we really like but we also have some more veterans cj shroud in his debut 12 of 20 131 yards two touchdowns and a pick so not the greatest debut but it wasn't a bad debut either and we'll get into the first play of the game here for Houston. And it will be a run. And Damian Pierce gets cut down at speed with the TFL. And a good start from our defense. We saw that coming from a mile away. And now they're in shotgun. Watch Mechie on the, on the right side here. And they're going to throw down. A com completed for three yards. It's Dalton Schultz with the catch. Guy, he was in Houston. Dalton Schultz might have a big game against us. We struggled covering the tight end last week. Third and eight. Let's see if we can get off the field here. And they're going to run it. And they will not get a first down. Derek Steenley had a decent gain. A gain of six. But we'll force a fourth and two. And get the ball. Oh, what a hit by Stewart Jr. Goodness. Anthony Richardson, after a good week one debut, 22 of 30, 359 yards, two touchdowns, did throw two picks, both of them in the end zone. So that's not great, but both of them were, were on me. So I will, I will take that. That was not on him. Few inaccurates, but they didn't result in, in turnovers or anything like that. Jackson with a decent run. It's a gain of three. No Evan Hole, who had a fantastic game last week. We're really going to miss him. He was probably the surprise of the day. How good it well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was Isaiah McKenzie. Richardson, though, to run. And he will have the first down. So a gain of seven. We don't want to take those type of hits necessarily with our rookie quarterback. I mean, I they said injuries 
here in Madden 24 to quarterbacks can happen. So we want to be careful as Deion Jackson has a nice run. It's a gain of six. And we're to the 45-yard line. Let's go with this pin pull sweep. See if we can bounce this out to the outside. That was our game plan. And the blocking is a little slow there. But Deion Jackson will fight forward. Close to a first down. It's going to be third and in inches. Uh, you know what? I actually like the crack toss here. Yeah. Let's let's go with this. See if we can get a first down off of this. And Jackson will not. Couldn't get to the outside. Jackson not fast enough. It's fourth and one. We'll just go ahead and punt. Third and nine. Let's see if the defense can force another three and out. Empty backfield here for Stroud. And that's a that's a great throw. I wasn't gonna take that all the way. John Metchie runs a seam route there. And uh yeah, I mean that was that was a fantastic throw. Right over Leonard, in between the linebacker and the safety. Great throw, and John Mechie gets the grab for a first down. Another throw outside. And that's to Collins for a gain of three, second and seven. Need our defense in the passing game specifically to step up. Last week, we did struggle. We were really good against the run. But Trevor Lawrence pretty much crushed us last week as that's a good run from Damian Pierce. 30 inches. Um, you know what? Let's blitz here. Off the right. And then I'm going to bring Blackman down. I think they're going to run it here. Let's see. Yep, they run it. And Pierce goes nowhere Blackman with the tackle for loss Thomas also might have been there it was the two safe no it was Buckner great play by the defense though and Houston will decide to punt here at about midfield I mean that's a decent spot to where maybe you go for it but that's a heck of a punt we're gonna let that go down to the four yard line. Wow. Great punt. Nice run from Deion Jackson, but there is a flag. And it's going to be holding. Oh, that's Jelani Woods with the hold. And now we're backed up to the two. Fantastic. I might throw a slant here to Pittman, and we do, and it is caught! Woo! Great catch by Michael Pittman. I don't know who was covering there, but they their eyes lit up. That could have been intercepted if, uh, if Pittman didn't get there in time. Great, great catch by Michael Pittman. A handoff here to Jackson again up the middle, and it's gain of 12. The threat of Anthony Richardson running. Really open that up. And we're going to lean on the, uh, the read option here. See if we can get Anthony Richson outside. And we do. Richson has space. And he's down all the way past midfield. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no. Anthony Richardson is hurt. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Kenny and Drake takes up the middle for a gain of three. Oh my gosh. Bruce Shoulder will return soon. Okay. Let's keep him out of the game for now. Oh my gosh. Quarterbacks can get... We're sliding from now on. We've learned our lesson. Quick throw to Pittman. Nice grab by Michael Pittman. Didn't really do much last week. A gain of eight, maybe... Uh, or had one catch for a gain of about eight, I think. From what I remember. That's the end of the first quarter. Disaster nearly struck for us. Oh my gosh. If he would have been out for a long period of time, I would have been devastated. Like, the whole point of this season, really, is to just get him developed, you know? And that would have... Oh, my gosh. It would literally have ruined the season. 
Jackson has a gain of three. We are in field goal territory. It was a nice throw from uh, from Gardner or Minshew. Might look to Pittman again. Maybe McKenzie or Downs in the seam. No, we're going to go. That's just. I threw it to her. Bad timing. It's picked. Gardner Minshew throws an interception. I threw it a little too early. And, um. Damn it. It just wasn't accurate. DJ Shroud just had a nice throw to, uh. I believe it was Collins, maybe with the grab. And this is gonna be a screen. And it's. I accidentally switched off. Pierce is gonna have a first down. No, not quite a first down, but a nice play. CJ Shroud, six of seven on the day. And again, like I've said in the earlier in this game, our uh, pass defense has not been good. And it's another play action up the middle. Collins with the catch down to the five yard line. No, that's Brown. Excuse me. And first and goal for Houston. Shroud and shotgun. He might hand this off here. He will. Buckner broke through, but it's off to the left side. Touchdown, Houston. Noah Brown's injured on the play, but Houston will take a 6-0 lead. Soon to be 7. And hopefully Anthony Richardson is back out there. And that was nearly a block. Ah, All right, 7-0. Anthony Richardson has returned. Remember, we will be sliding. That's that's for sure. I might actually quick throw to Downs here. Yeah, I like this. Can we get the blocking? We kind of did. Downs makes a play, and it's a gain of eight. All right. There we go, Josh Downs. Nice play. Gets his first career catch in the NFL. Let's go with the screen here to Jackson. And he got caught up. He got held at the line. Couldn't break through. We had to get rid of it. And we're going to have, what, third and two? Yeah. Third and two. Six minutes to go here in... Hmm. Uh, actually... You know what? Let's have Pittman run a zig. No, the corner kind of knew. It was caught, though. Michael Pittman with the catch. A slant would have been better there. I was afraid that linebacker was going to... They blitzed instead of having that linebacker... Uh, back out and cover there. Well, we get a first down. We'll take it. And that's incomplete. I meant to throw it over the middle. I think Alec Pierce is wide open. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Great start. Let's. We might. We might pull this. No, we're going to hand it off. Jackson with the run up the middle. It's a gain of five. Seven carries, 30 yards for, for Jackson. Didn't really get much opportunity last week, but he's been in this game quite a bit. And we're gonna, oh, we're not gonna really be able to do much. Let's just throw it away. Dang it, man, fourth, fourth and five. Pressure came a pretty quick there. I didn't really see anyone initially. Tried to roll out to the right to see if I can get it to, I think it was Pierce coming across. I don't remember who it was, but Prussia was there. Nice contain. And we'll go ahead and punt it. Oh, nice throw from Shroud. Nice route by Dalton Schultz. And Houston's all the way down to the 46. They have all the momentum. That is not good. Not good. Once they have momentum, it's really hard to get all that back. And Damian Pierce... To the right. Huge hole there. Six carries, 25 yards. In this game for Damian Pierce. Let's try and blitz. Try something different here against Shroud. See if we can force him to make a mistake. I mean, no pressure though. Up the middle. Catch by Brown. He breaks a tackle. Down to the 18. CJ Shroud. 9 of 11. 150 yards. Again, our secondary has really struggled. We don't have great corners, right? Kenny Moore is solid in the slot. Oh, I mean, Julius Brents is a rookie. 
And Pierce with a nice run off to the right. Our safeties are young. I mean, you know, our strength is stopping the run. It is. And we're not even doing that right now. But that is our strength. We just, we can't stop the pass for whatever reason. Buckner broke through the wrong side. Pierce cuts back. And that's an easy touchdown. Second touchdown of the game for Damian Pierce. All right, we're going to be a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, let's see. Rattled receivers. Away team has trouble catching. Hides the ball spot indicator for the away team. Okay. Okay, so at least the, the icons won't disappear on us or anything. Go play action here. And we'll hit Josh Downs, who's open over the middle. Nice throw from Richardson with pressure coming in as they blitz off the left side. And a beautiful throw. That will be the two-minute warning. Josh Downs with his second catch of the game. And it, it, that was just a fantastic throw. I mean, with under pressure and everything. That was great. All right, let's see if Pittman can beat his guy off the line. He does. And that's going to be inaccurate. Oh, my God. We had Pittman for a touchdown. As a DB celebrates getting burned. Unbelievable. We had him wide open. That's rough. We go downs, and it's another inaccurate throw. Ugh, four of nine for 45 yards. It's now third and 10. I'm going to have Woods go with a seam route here. No. We, ah, I had, I had the running back. Richardson will break out to the right side, though. And he gets a first down. Using his legs, getting out of bounds, avoiding a hit. Good job by Anthony Richardson there. Oof. Nice play there, and we'll roll out. Ah, uh, there's really nothing. Nothing at all. All right, second and 10. Good throw away. Houston's doing a good job of containing. They're getting pressure with Will Anderson and the rest of their pass rush. I'm going to have Drake actually stay back and block. Give us a little bit more time here. And we're sacked. Wanted to go downs. We'll call... Ah, I don't know why I called the timeout. It's starting 18. Gosh darn it, man. Don't line. Don't line struggling here. What do I want to do? I'm going to have Granson stay and block. All right. Let's see. Can we get better protection? And there's just no one open. Another sack. I could have, if I had time, maybe getting it to Drake. I don't know. Nothing really there. And that's a heck of a throw from CJ Shroud. Touchdown, Collins. Oh my gosh. Who got burned there? Collins was wide open off that corner route. I can't tell who that is. Is that Thomas? I can't see the, the number. Unbelievable. Wow, what a throw. We just, we can't get pressure. I mean, that's... That's the game right there. We can't get pressure and, and they're getting pressure on, on our rookie quarterback. I mean, it's... That's the game. I mean, that, it's that simple. Like, we got to be able to get pressure from our defense. And they're they're not doing that. Ooh, what a throw from Richardson. Pittman, nice juke. Can he get a block? No, but we'll call timeout. 34 seconds to go. Oof. What a throw and what a move from Michael Pittman. I'm just going to have McKenzie run a... Oh, I can't. Is it not working? There we go. Just run a go route. Ah, uh, no. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Uh, Let's lob that over. No, it's knocked away. It says bullet pass. I tried to lob that. It was a stupid throw. That should have been picked. <laughs> I should have I should have just threw it away, ran out of bounds, whatever. That was a dumb throw. All right. Second and 10. And we're going to actually fit this into Isaiah McKenzie. Up the middle. We'll call our last time out. 21 seconds to go. We can... Ooh, you know what? Let's go Jelani Woods here. 
up the scene. We just need protection. But this could work. Lonnie Woods. No! He dropped it. Gets knocked out. What a hit by Ward. Oh my gosh. Okay, second and ten. Hmm, I don't really love this play. Let's get it to Woods. Nice grab, but uh, it's 14 seconds to go. I was hoping that maybe he could break a tackle. Three seconds, two, one. This is it. And it's inaccurate. Instead of hitting B to spike it, I hit Y. So I had to run the play. Uh, we couldn't even get points off that. Quick throw to start off the second half to Isaiah McKenzie. And you know what? Let's let's go hurry up. Let's put this defense on their heels. And and let's try to make some plays. I had downs wide open. We're going to go Pittman. Aggressive catch. And he can't bring it down. I had downs instead of Pittman. That would have been a much better throw. But I had my mind set on, on throwing it to Pittman for some reason. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's another incompletion. We'll have Richardson run up the middle. He'll go ahead and slide. A gain of six. And it will be third and four. I really want to try a screen here. Try to get this first down off of that. The last time he got held at the line. Let's see if he can get through this time. He does, and that's going to be a first down. Easy first down. Nice blocking. And, uh, we'll take it. Drake with a nice play there. Richardson, 9 of 19. No picks, though. So that's good. I guess. And let's actually quick throw this. No blocking on Stingley, but we'll take it. It's a gain of 5. Nice little play there. I, I, I am liking those uh, the read option plays. They have been a lot of fun. If we can get good blocking, right? Like That's, that's kind of what you want. We'll hand it off, though, to Jackson. 3rd and 2. Manageable third down. What do we want here? Do we go read option again? I think we do. I think that's our best bet. We just... If if it's Richardson, we gotta slide. Or get out of bounds. It's gonna be Richardson. Oh, no. He gets crushed. <laughs> hopefully, he, hopefully that shoulder's good. Uh, we're going for this. It's fourth and inches. Ooh, read counter bash. Let's try this. This looks interesting. I don't like it at all. I probably should just do a quarterback sneak, but that's all right. We'll hand it up, up off the middle. English <laughs> and Jackson. Nice carry. Nine carries of 45 yards for Jackson filling in for Evan Hole as the primary back. And let's go. What is this? Read, read option for this interesting okay let's try it it's read option we'll dump it off there's a flag that might be a late hit Granson with the nice grab and what's the penalty what oh my gosh I took too long to throw it I guess all right well note to self I mean it it, it worked but like Okay, whatever. First and 15. Note to self. Let's not run that. Let's go play action here. Try hits uh, maybe one of these crossing routes. Yeah, we've got Granson. Touchdown, Colts! Let's go! Man, if we would have scored at the end of this and uh, at the end of the first half, we'd be right back in this game. But hey, we'll take the touchdown. Granson with his first touchdown of the season. And uh, it'll be 21-7. Ooh, empty backfield here for Shroud. Interesting. And it'll be a quick throw to Jordan. Breaks a tackle. Harrison couldn't bring him down. Second and seven. Come on, defense. Let's get a stop. We don't have a ton of momentum back, unfortunately. So a stop here would be huge. And that's going to be caught. But Schultz goes nowhere after the catch. Third and five. CJ Shroud, 13 of 15 in this game. I mean, our defense just hasn't been good. 
covering wise and we haven't been able to get pressure right like and Schultz went ah ah nice route by Schultz that's a first down Houston now into Colts territory here and his throw wide open over the middle ah tried a, a corner blitz didn't get there and uh yeah just wide open double safety I mean we're just we're bringing everyone how about that we're just we're gonna bring everybody I'm even blitzing Leonard here and he's gonna throw it up and it's tipped away Oof. all right that's what we need more of Brent's the rookie with a nice play there let's start blitzing like way more though like I've been bringing four or five let's bring I mean this time we're only bringing five but five or six Stroud has all the time in the world. Still no pressure. Third and six now. We need a stop. If we want any chance of winning this game, we have to have a stop here for Sofiel to go down and score. And then we need... We're going to need a, another stop, obviously. But another quick throw. The middle is incomplete. A huge hit from Kenny Moore. All right. They'll kick a field goal. It'll be 24-7. Can our offense go down and make it 24-14? Still down by two possessions, but we can we can get close here. Well, a horrible return. Uh puts us in a pretty rough spot here. We're backed up at the 15. And we'll see what we like. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Richardson. Okay, slide, slide. No. Alright, well he gets hit. Trying to avoid him getting crushed. What do I like here? All right. Let's throw in another read option here. Oh, my gosh. I thought he was coming in. And Richardson is hurt. Oh, my God. What am I doing? What am I doing? Stop running it with him. Oh, okay. We just got to hope that's not serious. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, and Minshew gets sacked. And it's fourth and eight. This is just getting worse. At this point, even if Richardson is good, I'm not bringing him back. I'm not risking it. Dislocated thumb will return soon. No. No, 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 no. No. We're, we're sitting him. We're down 24-7. We're sitting him. I'm no, it's not happening. Nope, 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 and nope, nope. We are not risking. We're not risking it. We're not risking it. He's gonna sit out the rest of the game, and uh, that'll be that. Eight twenty-six to go in this miserable game. We're down twenty-four to seven. Gardner Minshew is now the starting quarterback for the rest of the game. We'll throw a screen here. Nice cutback by Jackson. And we'll go no huddle. Look, we're going to continue to try to win this game. And see if uh, we can make it interesting with with Gardner. I saw... I, I didn't realize. I didn't even see him on the right side there. He was wide open. Like, that could have possibly been a touchdown. That's how wide open he was. <laughs> I think it was Deion Jackson. But I, I panicked. Let's just check it down here to Mo Ali Cox, and that will be third and one. All right. Let's go with uh, escape here. If we have time, maybe hit Jackson on just get the first down. No, he's not open, but Pittman is. Nice grab by Michael Pittman. Let's run the same. Well, I don't want to run the same thing. Let's do mesh spot here move him in on the out let's see what that safety does now he's gonna make sure he's doubled and Minshew's gonna be sacked wanted to try to get up the middle there for a run if that was Richardson yeah Minshew's a little too slow though unfortunately six and a half minutes to go time is just going by way too fast here and that's red uh all right Third and 11 now. What do we like? Nothing. Just just nothing. 
don't like anything. Maybe downs over the middle here. Yeah, like that. He's open. He has a first down. All right, no huddle here. Minshew, 5 of 8, 54 yards and a pick. And we'll go to this out here. Isaiah McKenzie with the nice grab as the first down also gets out of bounds. Nice route from Isaiah McKenzie. Can I have Drake stay back or Jackson stay back and block? Maybe Pittman here? No. Ah, nope. That's knocked away. Frick, dude. I had I actually Isaiah McKenzie was opening up. If I had just waited a little bit. Five and a half minutes to go. Second and ten. Just need somebody to get open. That's just now. Ah, that's gonna be picked. Safety read it. Got there quick. Minshew throws his second pick. I'm rhyming, I'm rhyming over here. I don't know what's going on. Third and 13. Just over two minutes to go. And Houston will actually hand it off here. Speed, I believe, brought him. No, that's Franklin. Brings down Damian Pearson. It will be a fourth and 12 at the two-minute warning. This thing's over, but let's see if we can score one more time and... I don't know. I mean, it wasn't necessarily a blowout. Like, I feel like we didn't get crushed. I mean, our defense wasn't great, but holding a team to 24 when your offense, you know, can't really move the ball, it's actually not that bad. I mean, the secondary wasn't very good, but just a, a disaster of a game. I mean, obviously, Richardson going down, didn't have hole. Just not, not, not great. Nice play there by, by Ward coming over. I mean, it's just rough game. One of those, just one of those games, I guess. I don't, I don't really, don't really know here. And I wanted to buy time. So I was trying to get to the outside there instead of just taking off and running, but nope. Quick throw to Isaiah McKenzie. We'll call a timeout. Minute and 11 to go. McKenzie with another good game. As, you know what? I think the injury kind of messed things up. Because I haven't seen really Pierce out here. So I think McKenzie's in instead of Pierce. Wide open though. Isaiah McKenzie. And that will be a touchdown. Wow. All right. You know what? Isaiah McKenzie might just be the guy here instead of Alec Pierce. I know some of you guys want to see Alec Pierce. But we, I mean, Isaiah McKenzie has been unreal here through two weeks. He's been the best player on the offense. Four plays, 94 yards in 53 seconds. Let's try an onside kick. I mean, apparently they said they added these new ones, and I don't know. It's possible, but that's yeah, no, that that didn't that didn't work out great there. So that'll do it. We lose 24-14. Honestly, like, yeah, it sucked, right? But it, I mean, it, it was the injuries, really. Anthony Richardson gets her on a drive where we're going down. Gardner Mitchell comes in and he throws a pick. You know, if that's Anthony Richardson, does he throw that pick? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, right? Then he gets hurt again on another drive. Like, Gardner Minshew goes on to get sacked like 3,000 straight times. So, losing by 10, where the defense secondary, again, wasn't very good. 17 of 22, 288, and a touchdown for CJ Stroud. Uh, but... I mean, better in the second half, right? Uh, I mean, how many they score? They had three points in the second half. Our defense played really well in the second half. Richardson was 11 of 21, 166, and a touchdown. Minshew, 8 of 14, 158, a touchdown and two picks. Russian wise Damian Pierce, 19 for 81, two TDs. Again, not amazing. Like, it's good, but our defense held up. Decently, Deion Jackson, 9 for 45. Richardson, 7 for 60. Drake had one carry for three. Isaiah McKenzie, 6 for 152 and a touchdown. I, 
he's got to be in the lineup, guys. He's got to be. I mean, he's he's been terrific. Pittman five for seventy five. Uh, Josh Downs three for forty two. And then defensively, Brent's actually had a decent game. Four tackles at TFL. Uh, Jesus, Will Anderson had two sacks and four TFLs. Jalen Rankins had two sacks, three TFLs. Terry Hughes had a sack and three TFLs. Good lord, they had a ton of sacks. Uh, did we? We didn't have any. Three TFLs for Buckner. No picks. No forced fumbles, anything like that. Defense just not making plays. But they're also not, you know, getting... I mean, they are kind of getting shredded. But only allowing 24 points. Well, I mean, that's good enough to win. You know, that's good enough to win. So, not great. Little concerned about, uh, about the injuries. We uh, had 15 first downs. 400 plus yards of... Uh, on offense so we got six points there uh we got three for getting half the rushing goal which we'll take obviously we didn't allow 20 or less points but we were close we we're close just a really bad second quarter from our defense and uh we fall to oh and two next week it doesn't get any easier we've got the baltimore ravens who has a really good defense as a quarterback that's that can run it's gonna be even harder to sack uh, do we have we i don't think we have a single sack to start this season not great mock draft is out uh so again let me know in the comments below 2024 draft class or uh just uh just auto generated i'll probably put out a poll so go down to the channel and see i think it's it'd be under like posts or something there should be a poll out for you guys you guys want the 2024 draft class or auto generated and then we'll go off of that once a 2024 draft class comes available that i want to actually use i will go ahead and import it but until then uh we won't but yeah that's where we're at and uh own two hope you guys enjoyed it that like button button subscribe if you guys are new to the channel now, see you guys in week number three against the Baltimore Ravens.